Good morning, Patricia Van Haren, family law attorney. What can be used as evidence in a domestic violence restraining order? So your rules of evidence are going to apply to all domestic violence restraining orders, but examples of evidence that you may use are going to be text messages that contain content that can prove either harassment or using bad language towards you, calling you names, threatening you either with bodily harm or injury, threatening to abduct the children. You can use all those text messages and emails. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you keep the original text messages and emails. Don't delete those off of your device. And also, You'll want to put them together into a PDF. You can either take screenshots or there are software programs that can help you assemble those. Um, you also want to have voice recordings. If you've had several different voice messages left from your former spouse harassing you, threatening you, or causing you fear, you want to go ahead and save those messages, but you'll also want to transcribe them. So maybe if it's painful to listen to, you can bring those into your attorney's office. There are transcription softwares that you can use or companies that will give you a transcript of a voice recording. So we wanna attach those and then also again, save your original text messages, call logs. If you have somebody that's been repeatedly calling you, you wanna print out a copy of that call log it's helpful if you can get a copy from your phone company as well and keeping the call log saved, taking screenshots of that. Now, if there is physical violence and you have bruising or other injuries, you may wanna keep your medical records, also any photographs of those injuries. During your case in the domestic violence trial, there will be a time to present all of that evidence to the court. You also need to make sure that you have another copy to provide to the opposing party or their attorney if they have one. Evidence is very important as a domestic violence restraining order places the burden on the accuser to show that there has in fact been domestic violence. So if you have any questions about what evidence should be used and how to store your evidence, as well as how to prepare your evidence for your trial, just shoot us over an email or Give us a call and we'll be happy to help you with that.